What's up you guys, Eddie of Fliptronics. We're gonna be checking out the top five best iOS iPhone puzzle based games to check out in 2018. I'm gonna be kicking things off here with Deuce X Go. This is basically like an action you know, puzzle-based, uh, you know, game that's just really cool. I'm going to have links in the description for all these games, so if you want to check any of them out, definitely recommend it. Um, anybody out there that likes a cool puzzle-based game every once in a while, you know, this one is, you know, pretty ridiculous. All right, so what's cool about this game is that, uh, you know, there's some action in it. You're actually going to be killing some of the enemies uh, as you make your way through, you know, each level. So it is level-based. All right, so let's... Uh... Right, so basically you make certain moves in this game and then when you make a move you'll have an enemy coming at you if he sees you all while trying to uh, you know kill enemies that are kind of like not facing towards you the game's really cool uh, you know I've I have never beat the game fully but I've made it pretty far in it does get pretty hard after like the fourth or fifth level so that's level one I'll, I'll kick it off here with one more level. All right, let me uh, take this guy out. Love the kills in this game, they're super cool. So this game's also kind of like a sci-fi based puzzle game too, I'd probably put it in that genre. Okay, anyways, Do Sex Go is my first top choice. Um, you know, I've been playing this game for a long time and it never seems to get old, so definitely check that one out. Next game I've got here is Pavoto. Uh, this is actually like a brand new game. We did some gameplay on it recently, and I don't know what it is about uh, Pavoto, if I like just saying the word Pavoto, but the game is really cool. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to kick it off with level two. Basically, you have, you know, like this ball coming at you, and then you need to adjust, you know, these little uh, mechanisms to, uh, you know, make the ball go into an orb. That's how you finish each level. Now, the game has like some really soothing music to it, and everything's pretty, uh, you know, everything looks pretty elegant, you know, so I mean, this is a pretty cool game for sure. Definitely get another level in here. Another cool thing about this game is that once you have the mechanisms lined up and you know it's good, you can hit the fast forward button, which will, you know, make the level go faster. I uh, kind of want to take it back to the main menu on this game. So there are actually like a lot of different chapters, I think, in this. Let's see, we've got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's nine different chapters to Pavoto. Um, this game is pretty freshly new too, but you know, it definitely made an impression on me, so I definitely think it's a puzzle-based game to check out. And I love saying Pavoto. I don't know what it is about that. All right, Neo Angle is a really cool game too. This is uh you know, kind of like a, a little bit similar to Pavoto in how the game looks. It's got a really nice soundtrack on it. It's kind of got like an outer space theme to it. Basically what you're doing in this is, you know, moving your finger in these kind of like triangle, you know, uh, maneuvers to finish each level. Once you have made it all the way to the end, it kind of like lights up like that. Uh, but the levels do get harder, obviously. This is just the first couple ones so far. It is a really cool game, though. It's got some really good music on it. So this is getting a little bit harder. I'm sure I could figure it out. All right, cool. All right, so Neo Angle, <clears throat> another really, really cool puzzle-based game. Um, I'm not sure how many levels are in this one. I'm pretty sure there's a decent amount to play through, though. Um, you know, what's cool about this game is that, you know, the soundtrack's really good on it, obviously. It gets really challenging, believe me. Um, and it's another game that, <clears throat> you know, definitely made an impression on me. So definitely check this one out. All right, the, so the next thing we've got is Monument Valley 2. This is a super popular game. Uh, this is the second game in the series. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I'll tell you what, uh, this one's pretty challenging, but it's all kind of like in the fun of the game. For those of you who have never played the original to this, uh, you know, it's like a really beautifully themed game. Um, you have to make certain moves in order to finish each level, and the environments kind of like move around. So, 
kind of hard to explain, but we'll get into the intro of it so you can kind of check out the intro and I'll pretty much show you how it works, but it's a really cool game if you're into puzzles. This game's also pretty unique. I have never really played a game like it. It's definitely out there. All right, so this is gonna be the first level of the game and uh, you're about to see some really cool stuff because like the environments pop up in this and you know, you have to kind of like move things around. It's definitely like a really interesting game. Okay, so when you make it to the next platform, you can then move this little thing right here, which will, you know, allow you to keep doing what you got to do here. Right, so now we've got another floor. Man, this game is so cool. I forgot how cool it was. All right, so anyways, I pretty much just finished the first level. That's pretty much what you have to do in this game. Um, it gets super challenging, so I mean, it's definitely like a puzzle-based game that, you know, um, <clears throat> is uh, worth checking out, especially if you, you know, like the puzzle genre. So the last game I've got is Hexaturn. This is a pretty much uh, like a newer game too. It's interesting. So uh, I'll kick it off with like the second level of the game. I almost feel like this is a game of checkers, this game. <clears throat> so anyways, you're going to have a triangle that's going to be trying to uh, get into one of your like squares. In order to finish each level, you have to block the triangle from getting into your squares. Once you fully block the triangle, you finish the level. All right, so you saw right there, he could, the triangle could not move into any either of the squares. Um, it gets, you know, obviously harder. I made it to like the seventh level of this game, but uh, you know, it's definitely like an interesting, unique game. I've never played a game like this before, like uh, that's puzzle based. So I mean, that's kind of why I like it. So I'm going to get this right here and we block the triangle completely. So that's how you finish a level. Um, you know, you got to block the triangles. We'll do one more here. See if, uh, you know, do okay. All right, we're about to block that triangle out. Um, anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed this list of puzzle based games. You know, I love a good puzzle game every once in a while. Uh, you know, these are five of my favorite ones that I've been playing, you know, probably, you know, for a while now. So I'll have links in the description for all of them if uh, you want to give them a download. If you could also hit the like and share button on this video, I'd definitely appreciate it. Anybody out there who is not subscribed to us, hit that subscribe and we'll see y'all later.